it's a windy one and I'm out reviewing again. Um, I'm actually currently stood on the top of a dam, uh, a reservoir down in Elam Valley and the wind coming up is immense at the moment. It's quite windy so excuse me if I jump and grab the camera because it's going to blow over. Uh, you can see next to me I've got my trusty tripod. Um, this is my second trusty tripod from Sunway Photo. This is the T3240CM carbon fibre tripod. This is in the professional range and it is a very, very good and very, very trusty tripod. Um, I have no quibbles in highly recommending one of these. And the bigger version, which I think is the T3650CM. I think that's the other one I've got. And that's a slightly taller one, a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, but exactly the same model and design of this. Uh, absolutely love it. I'm here to talk about this one though. This is what I'm actually here to talk about. This is the T. 2840cm so the 40 stands for the four section one two three four the same as this is a four section one two three four the other one is a five zero which is a five section uh, this has carbon fiber again absolute beautifully lightweight tripod very very nice feel an absolute stunning piece of carbon fiber i've had this tripod now for a couple of years my other one i've had for three to four years and it is still exactly was exactly the same as the day i bought it there's the carbon fiber's got no nooks cracks cr it is really stood the test of time it's been in the sea it's been in salt water it's been in the river it's been in the rain it's been in snow it's been in everything and everything is still perfect all the allen keys all the screws all the locks all the fittings everything is exactly as it was when i first got it it is brilliant even the twist locks the rubbers never come loose they've got rubber seals and o-rings in them this is exactly the same i trust this thing as much as I trust that one. Uh, I haven't used it, but I'm gonna say to you now this, if you want something smaller and lighter, this is the one to go for. I like that that much, that I totally will recommend this for taking on your longer hiker, you know, higher backpacks, or if you're traveling abroad, this is gonna be the one to have. So let me tell you a little bit about it. It's four sections. It's twist grip, which I love the twist grip. I love the fact that you can just pop them out and lock them around. I've got very used to just twisting it once, pulling it out and locking it off. This is probably going to be about as tall as the tripod I've got next to me. And it's a smaller tripod. So there you go. You can see it's virtually the same height. Um, when it's folded down, it is actually the same length, but when it's stood next to its little brother or its little sister, um, this is definitely a slightly shorter tripod. But this one has a slight difference. You can unlock the top and you've got a center column. So it actually takes it higher than this one at you get a lot more height. I am five foot eight and eye level I could not see in my camera. Once I've got a bull head on there or a geared head, that's gonna take it up another three or four inches. It's gonna be somewhere up here. You're looking at six foot in the air. Um, it's a nice twist grip, very simple to use. If you don't like center columns, because I'm a favorable one, I don't like the center column in them. I like to have my tripod so I can go right down to the floor. Well, that's not a problem. You can actually take this out by unscrewing the uh, big, um, hook that's on the bottom. So if you want to weight this tripod down, you can take this out and you've got a really big hook on the bottom. You can take that out, slide this column out and uh, do away with the column altogether. Okay, so that's the way it works. It's, it's something you can actually do away with. And I'm assuming it comes with a smaller one. And if it doesn't, I'm just going to scrap all that and just pretend I didn't even say anything. So just cutting to me in the van for one moment because when I took the centre column out outside and I've up been inside because it's so windy out there I can't carry on out there. Um, I had to get the instructions out to see what I was missing, why I couldn't take the centre column out because I knew it would go flat down to the floor. I even said so on the instructions later on in the video. So you basically undo this, okay? You take the centre column out and there's a little screw on the bottom which is your hook, uh, your hanging hook. And you take that out. Don't worry about losing any washers or anything like that because there isn't any. There's a nice little o-ring on there to keep the water out and you basically slide out your centre column. You then, if you do the allen key up inside, there's a little tiny allen key in there, you will need your little allen key that comes with it to undo the screw. Um, but if you don't do it up tight, and at the moment that's pretty much locked on there, you can just get hold of that, get hold of your whole head, unscrew this, get rid of that part and you need your hook and you basically put that back in there and put your hook in the bottom it is as simple as that for making a small tripod you can then wind that right down to make sure that's done up tight and that's done up tight 
and you then have a miniature tripod with no center column in the way so that's how you do it it does come complete i wasn't missing anything i was just being a bit lax of reading the instructions this i think is a great idea because you don't have to carry that extra little stubby column that i so many times i've lost before and put it in a bag and left it at home brilliant brilliant idea and if you want to change it back take that back out obviously undo your thread so you can get your column back in you can drop your column back in get the keyway like that put your head back on the top lock that in tight lock that in tight and put your screw back on the bottom you've now got your center column back in easy as peas back to me outside You can take this out, turn it upside down though, slot the keyway into the keyway and you can have the tripod upside down. So it's another way you can actually hang your tripod, hang your camera underneath the, uh, the tripod and get your camera down nice and low if you wanted to get it down nice and low. It's got some really good finger grips on there that you can lock that off. Uh, I don't always recommend using these center columns but it is quite a good way. You've got screws all the way around the head. Uh, so the head's got screws all the way around. Let's bring it a little bit closer so you can see. So all the way around this head plate, there are quarter inch screws. So if you want to attach something on the side there, you can. You've got uh, threaded screws on the bottom for locking on your uh, ball head or your geared head or your leveling head. Uh, you've got a 3 8 fitting in the top. And I've got a feeling if you undo this inside here, you can flip this over and you've got a quarter inch thread. So you can actually take this out and you can put this in the other way up and you can have a quarter inch thread coming from the other side. So it's been well thought out. You can have different size uh, ball heads on the top. Uh, I think that's a really good idea. Just put my rubber cover back on for a minute. You've also got threads all the way around. So again, you can attach all sorts of attachments, whether you want to attach microphones or you want to attach lights. I have on the side of mine, I have a small magic arm, which I use for my vlogging. And I'll be doing exactly the same with this one. I'll be attaching a magic arm to the side of this so I can actually put my little vlogging camera on the side of this. It's got the same locking mechanisms for your legs. They click into place, as you can hear there. You literally pop it out, it stays out until you get to the top and then it locks in. Brilliant idea, really, really do like this. It's also got little holes in the back. And again, this is all air sealed. Okay, so that is watertight. Okay, so the, the idea is, because all of these um, twist grips have O-rings inside them, which stops the tripod actually filling with water when you've got it in water. And the little air vents at the top are to let the flow out. So when you push that in, there's no resistance. You can literally put it straight in and you can hear the air coming out. I think it's a really, really good initiative idea and I really do like that idea. It's on all the other tripods as well. I've got a furry grip on that side. Again, it's from Sunway Photo. I'll probably put one on here just to give me that bit of a warmth. But again, this tripod is fantastic. You've also got threads in the pin locking. Now, your pins that go through to hold your legs on, these have never come loose. Uh, hopefully touch wood and they never do again uh, now i've said it but they don't come loose they've got a special design i don't know if it's a pattern design or a design that they use to stop them from coming undone like some tripods you do up and down a few times and they come loose mine never have they've been really really good i've never had to do them up tight again so i'm, I'm quite impressed with that like i say absolutely fantastic design uh, this is a lot lighter and i'm putting all the, all the descriptions of the weights and the sizes and everything up on the screen while i'm talking just to save some time um, yeah I, I love it it's slightly smaller than that one if i want to go up a really big hill when you're at the top of the hill you don't need a massive tripod do you and if you do need to weigh it down just hook your bag on the bottom you've got a great big hook on there to hook your bag to or take a bit of carabiner uh clip a carabiner on there a little bit of uh, camping string paracord and a, a spike spike it into the ground clip your carabiner on and it holds it down Brilliant idea. Can't ask of anything better than that. It's a really strong idea to have a lightweight tripod and a little carabiner to carry around. The feet come off. Inside the feet, you've got little rubber seals in there. So it seals the feet if you like the rubber feet, but it also comes with its own spikes. And its own spikes, if I'm gonna put this on top of this wall, please don't blow off the top of there because I'll be quite upset if it does. <laughs> um, it comes with a, a lens cloth and Allen keys. And I don't know whether I trust it up there. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook it over the top of my tripod just for now, just so you can see it. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it comes with these feet. 
and these are really really well made feet um, again they've got o-rings inside them there um, it's just to stop the water getting in they're really really nice and nice and short and stumpy and thick and they really are a good design uh, of foot the only problem i have with them is they're a little bit short i would love to see these about five centimeters long um, because i have slightly longer feet on the bottom of mine because i like to ram them down in the ground but yeah they do come with their own feet and i think the feet are really really nice it's just a little bit too short for my use um, yeah good tripod well made let me just give you a few specs on it we've got four section tubular um, diameters are um, 0.75 inches 19 mil and it goes down to uh, 0.87 inches which is 22 mil 0.98 inches 25 mil and then 28 mil 1.1 inches so we're going from a 19 mil at the bottom up to a 28 mil at the top and i think this one goes up slightly bigger which gives you that extra weight obviously it's got a load capacity of recommended 16 kilograms which is 35.31 pounds so you can actually put 16 kilograms on the top of this little thing so that's quite impressive isn't it 16 kilograms to be honest but that is a really nice and sturdy tripod um sleeve twist grips like i said sealed to sealed twist grips like i said they've got seals inside them i can just show you quickly undo that and you can see that little orange line there that little orange line there is a seal so it stops all the salt sand grit and everything getting down inside the threads and inside the tripod six year warranty um some way photo are going to give you a six year warranty with this now that is a really long time for a tripod um that's a really long time for anything uh, a six year manufacturer's warranty um that's brilliant <laughs> that's just brilliant 1.63 meters like i say that's nearly six foot high um 64 in, uh, 64 inches that's with the column fully extended. If you want it down low like this, which is the, obviously the, the best position to be in because your columns, you'd never rely on your column at the top unless you really have to. It's 52 inches, which is 1.33 meters. Um, so 133 centimeters, uh, which is pretty good. I think that's a good height to get down. Once you've got your ball head on the top, I think that's a really good height for it to be at. It will go right down to the floor. It does actually say here that the center column comes out. So I'm gonna have a look and see what goes in the top because I didn't notice anything in the box or the bag. It does come with a bag as well, a carry bag, even though I don't ever use them. Um, but it does come with a nice carry bag, but I'm not sure how this goes inside the top without, I don't know. I need to look at that. And when I do, I'll pop it up on the screen as a little overlay to see how it works. So you can take that center column out and get it right down to the floor. Because it does say it'll go down to four inches, which is um, nine centimeters. So I'm going to have a look and just check and see how that actually works. Platform diameter on the top. Uh, if you're interested in the platform diameter, it is 58 millimeters, uh, which is just over an inch on the top, uh, two inches. Um, it's got a leg folded height of 51 centimeters so that is the size it's going to be once it's collapsed down uh, when it's folded right down and it weighs 1.4 kilograms okay so it weigh 1.4 kilograms you have a leg angle of 23 degrees 55 degrees and 85 degrees so you've got your 25 you go out to your next one which is there that's another angle and you can go out to the next one which is there which is another angle so that's not quite 90 degrees it's 80 something 85 55 and 25 that's it i'm not going to say anymore there's no point it's a tripod i like it if it's as well made as this which i'm sure it is it's exactly the same company exactly the same materials i would highly recommend a smaller lighter tripod this is definitely the one that i will probably be taking up the big hikes i'm going to the faroe islands very very soon in about two weeks time and i probably take this one with me to try it out rather than this one because it depends how much room i've got in my case this is a lot bit heavier and bigger to get in the case this will then do as good a job as this one without the extra wind what i will be doing though is adding a loop on the side like i've got there so i can hook things to it and my little magic arm and putting a head on top of it as well so uh, 
yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it turns out like. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching. Ciao for now. See you soon. Don't forget to give us that thumbs up. Share the video if you know anyone that's interested in a tripod. And if you have any questions, if you can't get onto the website at all, drop us a line. I have a contact in the UK that will send you these items. Anyway, anything from Sunway Photo, they will send you these items uh, direct. Uh, very, very easy. All you've got to do is drop me a line and tell me what it is you're after. Ciao for now. See you soon. All the links will be in the description. Any discount codes I can get will be down for you as well. Bye-bye. The wind's picking up. I've got to go. It's getting windy. My solar panels are falling over and everything. So bye-bye. Bye-bye.